Hello everyone and welcome back to Crossplay Xenoblade Chronicles X. So in between episodes I decided to go back to the mission terminal and I picked up all the social quests. We're not going to be doing any of those today and we're not going to be doing the gathering quests, uh, the tip of the cat or Nashushu. I'll gather all that stuff off screen. I was going to do renewed will today but when I teleported there I noticed that there was a quest down here but it wasn't appearing on my map so I came over and checked it out and it's called meeting Yavol. Yavol? Yavol? Yelv? Sure. Let's try it. Oh, we have... Okay, so we have too many party members. Um... Who would I want to get rid of? Okay, I think I'll get rid of Elma because she's been in our party more often than not. I know Lynn is as well, but she's also the tank. So, goodbye, Elma. I'll see you shortly, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and take this quest, then. It has a minimum or maximum of three, so maybe we're gonna get another party member. That happened with HB. Hey, you. I've been looking for you. Come here a minute. I've you have a tattoo or a scar on your face. Uh, do as the man says. Beg off. Say that you have to go wash your hair. I'll agree, sure. Smart choice. Smart people live long. Alright, kinda wish I didn't choose that option. I picked out a mission or three for you. No thanks needed. Run along and handle them. Should be a cakewalk. Real Who are you? Street. Uh yeah, tell him to get lost. You're a tough potato, aren't you? I like tough potatoes. So don't make me mash you, potato. Oh, you are more than welcome to try. I'll details to your comm device. Get it done, and get back to me. Capiche? Why are we doing this for you? Oh, that's Yevil, or Yelv. Uh, you were passed, or pressed into taking on some missions by a ma man named Yelv. They seem like relatively straightforward tasks. Hopefully it won't take too long. Mission A. Uh, scavenger mission taken by Yevil from Blade HQ. Done. Be too young, Cyniclus on Primordia. That should be easy enough. There's only two of them. And defeat five metal Beltas, Beltes, and Primordia. Are those the Beatles? Also, I should really learn how to pronounce these names, huh? Oh, and don't take too long, or you and me will have problems. Time to prove you ain't all show, and you better impress, buddy. That's not how I roll on, in real life or in video games. So, let's teleport out to Primordia then. Are there anything on the maps that display where these enemies are? Yes, okay. Oh, it's the Headwater Summit. Oh, maybe it's in the cave though. Well, we'll teleport to the, the, the top of the waterfall and we'll see what's around there. If we need to go in the cave, we can go into the cave. It is nighttime though, that might be an issue. You're not angry at me, that's good. Probably in the cave. Or during the day. Is there a clock over here? There's one of these things over here. Usually that means I can rest. No, this was a yellow thing I could scavenge. Alright, let's head towards the cave then. There's that majestic freaking creature right over there. I think the cave was just down and around. So it shouldn't take too long from here. I want to get that. Lacy potato. Hey, I'm a potato. I'm also a computer. Oh, I got paid. Nice. Um, the, the third option, I've already forget his name. I think it's Meredith & Co. Uh, arms manufacturer is not almost done, but I would say it's probably like 40% of the way done? Did we actually land at the cave entrance? That's actually <laughs> way better than I could have actually planned for. So, are you the guys we have to kill? I think... Oh, no, we need metal ones. Uh, metal ones, huh? Now, that is a... Not the right one. I wanted a... Alright, so these aren't the ones we're looking for. Now, hopefully I just didn't, like, throw my, uh, ball ball into the trash, but... 
Eh, if I did, I guess I can just buy a new one according to Tatsu. Oh, oh yeah, that's cool. They have exclamation points on their head. So here's two. We need five of them, huh? I know if you let your arts charge up, they're stronger. I probably should start doing that, but a lot of the times I just want to kill them. Which apparently the game says is a, a, a rookie mistake, but... Oh well. I wish it was... I, I can get back attack off me. Maybe I should do that. Because I'm not the tank, so if I can just stay behind and attack, that will work out way better in my favor than just circling around it. Oh, it's toppled. Nice. That doesn't even count as a warm -up. So we got Advanced Titanium Saber, which is something I might be able to equip. Go to Ground Gear. Well, I have a Titanium Saber, so Advanced is just 15 points less, but it does give me a TP up when I attack, huh? That seems pretty good. If I had more, like, of the TP auras. But I don't have any of those anymore because I switched classes. I mean, I guess I still have them. They're just in the reserves? I guess that's one way to put it. I got an advanced soldier machine gun there. I don't think anyone in our party can actually use that, though. Okay, so all these guys are gone now. I guess we just have to look for more down here. But there's a different batch of enemies we need to... Okay, they're the same ones. That's done. What? Why didn't we have to kill that guy? You know what, game? That's fine. Okay, let's check out Mission B, then. Uh, Mission B. I like the name, Mission B. Okay, where is that? Oh, right, it wasn't actually tracking the entire quest line. Alright, but thankfully there is a fast travel point uh, for these guys as well. For some reason, I thought it was just tracking the main quest, and since we only had two objectives left, it was showing two... Ooh. Uh, <laughs> two things left. But I guess not. Man, level 18... I mean, I'm sure we got this, kind of, probably. Let's give it a go anyways. We're doing all right, damage. That hit me? Yo, game. I was like way far away. If I can just take out its knees, I should get some good drops, right? I suppose how this works. If I take out a couple of uh, body parts, I get more drops. Still not very good at doing that. But this one's kind of easy because of how big it is. There we go. Oh, it's back. Did I not? Oh, well, whatever. Time to die. I did not kill him there. That's pretty good experience. Okay, advanced combat body armor, body wear, and refined horn. That's uh, an ingredient. Sweet. You got some good stuff there, it looks like. Ooh, let's not... Oh. Are you the mother? Can you leave? I need to kill your babies. Okay, that one's done. So that's it for his mission. Well, there's probably more to it, right? Like, they're not just going to have me go out and kill a bunch of these little things and then not give me an extra... Because we did this with HP as well. Like, he sent us on a bunch of little very generic quests, and then all of a sudden we had to go save his buddy. I guess, to be fair, that guy wasn't HP's buddy, but more of a college friend study partner that HP wanted stuff from. Or was invaluable to the NLA. Superstar. All right, all right. Looks like they're done. You have a hard time or what? No. Yeah? I picked nasty ones on purpose so I could test your metal. You don't know what nasty hey, is, do you? You're a real 
Big shot. Well, you pass. Congrats. As of today, you're partners with the legendary Yelf. Sounds like Seinfeld music. Tackling reclaimer missions by my side. Just had to sniff out your skills first. Yeah, it's quite the honor. But there are a whole pile of candidates before you. I doubt that. Enough yapping. Let's say we christen this new partnership with an assignment. Next stop, mission control. Let's hope they got something fun. What a weird way to get new party members. Hey, he's a blast fencer though, so. Got a tank and three guys with laser swords. What could possibly go wrong? But you, normally, you know, and this isn't really a normal JRPG, but normally you get uh, party members by doing like the main story. This is just like you go around doing side quests and all of a sudden you get new party members like HB and Yelv. Which is, it's neat, but makes me think they're not going to have many voice events in like the main story useless crap lame vicious indigence lays three dozen blades sounds fun um i wouldn't call that fun that's kids work or cover fallen fragments of the whale classic reclaimer gig there didn't we already do one of these? We can reclaim. He's a reclaimer. But we 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 reclaim uh, reclaimed white whale part before. It was in the arena mission. I like the cut of your chip, pard. That's the one I was gonna pick. I mean, Doug would have liked the fighting the indigent ones, and I'm a Harrier, so I probably would have gotten more points. But since he says he's a reclaimer. Let's do the reclaimer gig. How come you have a giant cannon, but Doug has... Oh no, Doug has a giant cannon as well. Are you two just like copies of each other? I mean, you're probably going to have different arts. Like, a couple of different arts at least. Yeah, so you got Gravity Cloak, and Doug has... Myopic screen. You no. Know. Huh. Okay. No, that's not the the myopic screen isn't a Doug only move. What would be Doug only move though? Do we not have a Doug only move? That's kind of funny. All right, let's head out until Primordia, and see if we can get this uh, these whale pieces. It's not in Primordia. It's in Oblivia. All right, we're in Oblivia. Hey, you know what? We get to go and get another probe site then, it looks like. Because there's a fast travel point, and then if we just go north, there's a probe site. And then north from that is the quest objective. So, which spot was this that we fast traveled? Twin Arches. That's the one we went to. So, we're going to go north now. We're gonna still going to try to get some of these baubles because... Well, I haven't really got that many in Oblivia yet. Okay, we don't want to fight the flower dude because he will probably hurt us. It might be up on this hill. I like Oblivia's music. This this map music is really good. But it does make me feel like something bad's about to happen. <laughs> Which, you know, something bad might happen. So it looks like if we can get up, we might be able to get this... Uh, probe site then again we might have to go up any there's a house up there there is a house up there how do I get up here I can't make that jump I might be able to make that one but there is something clearly up there that I need to go check out and it's probably, yeah, the probe site's up there. How do I get up there? Oh, I'm not going to be able to jump up over here. Okay, let's go back. All the way back. Alright, so this is around the teleport spot, the fast travel point. It looks like we can get up over there. We can just climb that bridge. But there doesn't seem to be a way. There has to be a way. Maybe I have to go to a different teleport spot. 
or it's just around here because look at the mini map it looks like it's merging and then there we're gonna be able to go up over here maybe we'll just find a place we can jump up easier from over here oh come on up oh, up oh, found it all right I mean, this might not be it, but it looks like it is. Let's stay away from the flowers in the ground. Sometimes those are enemies, and given the given given the levels I've seen of them, we don't want to fight too many of them at once. Oh, this one's only level 16. We probably fought these guys before, but whatever. We'll kill these guys. Yo, I want to get that probe. I want to get as many probe sites when I do these missions, just so you know it helps. Because later on, we won't have to find them. And we're probably, we're definitely going to want to get all of them. Mostly because of the money it gives us and the ability to upgrade our weapons. I don't want to get to like the level 50 content and then all of a sudden be like, Oh, I'm still using level 20 weapons because I was dumb. Though I don't think that's going to happen seeing how I have like access to level 70 weapons right now because of how uh, much I've upgraded this stuff. Well, actually, I think the highest was like 65. That might be wrong, too, but I remember looking at them and going, well, I'm not going to be using that for a few hours. By a few hours, I mean, like, 30. What the hell was that? Was that, like, a sand wheel? I saw, like, a giant tail. Oh, man. Getting worried. Is that a cave? Nah, it's just a... Well, I mean, technically it is, but it's not, like, a cave area there are houses there's just straight up houses over here all right this is good our first settlement i also know there's a yellow thing down there we can potentially get that on the way back if i remember now chances are these are not actually houses but like prone bases so we're probably gonna have to fight some prone which shouldn't be too bad but that's still nice we're finally seeing like structures again it is literally, well, okay, the campsite is technically a structure, but we haven't seen a building of sorts since the last time we went to a prone base. There's something yellow up there we can get. And there's the probe site over there. Uh, we'll get the yellow thing first, if we can. Big arc. I don't think this is a prone base. It looks like just... Like, it looks like ancient Egypt stuff, if, if I'm looking at that correctly. We can get this, huh? 20 experience, 2,000 credits. That's not bad. Like, Greek... It's kind of Greekish. This is big arc, huh? Can I get this? I can. They really keep these, uh, these yellows pretty low, huh? One battle point. Is one battle point worth a thousand credits? That seems to be their math there. Well, let's go get this probe site. FN 305. This will give us more money at the very least. Ooh, that unlocked a lot of stuff. What's the... Combat support B, revenue E... Production C, so I guess put a mining thing here. There you go. Ooh. Oh! So, dagger pudges, huh? Alright, so, well, this is, I guess, prone. Given that those are prone robots, right? I mean, maybe the structures themselves aren't prone, but more... No, okay. They're prone. I mean, the structures, yeah, they're probably not prone, because they definitely look like they've been here a while. But the prone are definitely here. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm messing with my map, trying to get the... Freaking symbols to show up. Okay, so I need to go north. Let's avoid the giant mech thing. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to get back up. Which is unfortunate. That means we're not going to be able to get that yellow thing. But at least we have a teleport. Oh, I guess we could just teleport back and go there later. Oh, so it's down here? 
You know, I really should have looked before jumping, just in case. There's high level things around here. You're not evil, right? You look like an axe beak. Imposter bug. Should be just over this hill then. Right, because a lot of the white wheel stuff was near water, wasn't it? Are these guys mean? Um, what happened? <laughs> oh, I must have hit like uh, auto run or something. Oh, hell, this place is crawling with nasty critters. You ready to go? This school is about to be in session. Time to oh, so cliche, dude. Who owns this little piece of Mira? You're the reason why we're at war with them. Um, so just hanging back and observing. Yeah, observe. What the hell kind of plan is that? We see them when we're beaten on them. He'd never have given me some horse plop idea like that. Oh, shut up. I don't know who he is. Now let's get in there and say hello to the locals. We're gonna die, aren't we? Also, it's pretty badass. We all have. Ah, uh, you know, that's not too bad. We'll do this. They're all kind of rounded up anyways. Yeah, it's level 15. That's not bad at all. Doug's pretty high level. I'm level 16, I think it is. Hero is, I should say. Lynn has a crap ton of HP, so she's able to tank fairly easily. Though she just lost aggro. Good job, Lynn! Okay, let's not die. I also don't want to get too close to that water because there is a big flying thing that might try to kill me. Alright, one down, and I got a class up. Uh, what's this do? Rent electric, oh, electric resist up? Interesting. Do that. Oh, and I get another one. Okay. Did I kill him? I killed him. I don't think we need to use that. I don't think anything here is using electricity. I could be wrong, though. What is going on in the background? There's like electric storms in the background. <laughs> Hey, come here. I want to melee you. Oh, I got your tail! <laughs> Time to die. Who shot that giant beam? Oh, it's probably you or Yelv. At least this one's level one. That would kind of... What the hell? Because I'm dotted! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Game design. <laughs> He's got some earth-based animal samples in it. Not really what I'm after, though. <sighs> well, freaking great. Let's get back to New LA and report to Eleonora. What is that over there? What is that? Is that like a giant enemy base? Where's my... Get, come up, world map. Where is it? Can I swim out there? We're swimming out there. We're not going to be able to make that, are we? Yelv's about to die. Come on. I'm not going to be able to make that without the lightning killing me. Oh, we can't actually die, though, it looks like. Interesting. Well, let's just keep swimming, then. See how close we can get to this goddamn thing. It doesn't look like we're getting closer, to be honest. Okay, yeah, we're definitely not getting any closer. <laughs> I don't think... Have we made any distance? What the fuck's going on? Okay, we're definitely making some distance away from the land. Not much, though. What the hell? Oh, it's Tatsu! 
Tatsu apparently not a good swimmer, it looks like. Oh, I drowned? You jerk! You... Lynn, save me. All right, fine. We'll go back to Eleonora. Big meanies. Oh no, you can't swim out there. Why not? Let me swim out there. Yo, yo, let me, there we go. I think does look like a giant battleship though. You're not wrong. We gotta, this has to be like a story thing we have to do to get out there. It might be another continent, but there was like a, on the map, it looks like there's a snow one. But that seemed way too close to actually be another continent. Hello, Eleonora. Welcome back, yo. How did this round of salvaging go? Find anything nice out there? Bupkis. Define nice. Found. Give it over to the lady, pard. Hard? Well, I guess it's better than Rook. Probably means the same exact thing. Guys are going to have a field day. But I'm sorry, you still haven't found what you're looking for. Spare me. Is he looking for his annoying woman? She's not annoying. Can I say something wrong? I didn't mean to. Talking with you is like walking a minefield, you know. That's why all the other reclaimers keep their distance. That and he's sort of a dick sometimes. You're a total softy underneath. We did our job, so you do yours and make with the reward already. Okay, See? Okay. Here you go, Grumpy. A lot of the characters in this game do seem to like they they aim to come off as dicks, don't they? That chick is always getting up in my personal biz. Ah well. Now that we got pocket change, let's go knock back a gold one. We're gonna be working together a long time, you and me. Best to get to know each other. I don't think Lynn can drink. Ask what Eleanor meant when she said that Yell was looking for something. Grin! Tell Yell a cold one sounds good. Let's go get our crunk on. That's what I'm talking about. Cheers to the pair that's gonna change the course of Reclaimer history. What is that? You and me. We'll find every last scrap of the white whale or die trying. Well, I did just drown. Okay, so that's another blast fencer we can get. Essence Exchange and Master Gunner. Oh, and I got a rank up. Let's actually look at those R's, because I didn't get a chance to see them earlier. There's another mission here. Go down. So boost beam resistance, can, uh, continually restores HP, and all finds terrain effect. Interesting. And Lightning Cloak. Again, something I'm probably not going to use. Light, uh, Starfall Rondo will be getting next rank. And it's definitely something it looks like I'll be wanting. Five hits, huh? Compared to the three. Alright. I think that's going to be it for this episode. Let's check out this quest, because this I don't think was here before. 28. Two hearts. Alright. Complete chapter six, huh? Next time, we'll actually do the Renewed Will quest, and then we will probably move on to the chapter, the next chapter. Uh, I'll do some resource gathering off-screen for the, the Noshisu quest. And yeah, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head on my video section and check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.